What's good people, Simeon Panda here and welcome to my channel. For those of you that have been a long time supporter of mine, following my channel and all my other socials for as long as you have, I appreciate it. And I am sorry for the delay in getting you another YouTube video. I know it's been a minute, but I'm back. I'm back, I'm back with a vengeance and I'm gonna be hitting you with quality content. Um, I took a break, you know, I had a, I, had a, I had a son, amazing son. It's been the best, best life experience ever. Truly recommend it. <laughs> so yeah, no, I've, I've, I've been busy, but I'm back, man, I'm back. So I'm gonna be bringing you quality content and feel free to put in the comments uh, what you want, you know, what you wanna see from me. Um, you know, it's just us, I'm gonna be bringing you whatever you need, man. Hey guys, hitting you with this quick intermission to shout out the sponsors of this video, Honey. No, not that Honey, PayPal Honey. It's the free shopping tool that scours the internet for promo codes and automatically tests them when you're checking out. Here I am shopping at Vitacost.com, the online marketplace for all things healthy living, including organic foods, protein snacks, supplements, personal care products, they have it all. We try to buy everything organic, so I really love their wide selection of top organic brands like Simply Organic. Since I already have Honey on my MacBook, it pops up in the corner at checkout, and all I have to do is click Apply Coupons. Wait a few seconds while Honey does its thing, it adds the coupons and you save. Honey is perfect for Vitacost July sale, which has already started and goes until July 24th. From July the 17th to the 20th, you can get 20% off vitamins and supplements. From July 20th to 24th, you can get 15% off site-wide. It's simple. If you have a computer, Honey should be on it. No, not like that. It will come in perfect during Vitacost sale, where you can stock up on wellness products, plus it works on a ton of other websites that you already shop on, from activewear, food delivery, and tech. Get Honey free today by going to joinhoney.com forward slash Simeon or clicking the link in my description. Thanks Honey for sponsoring this video, let's go. Today we are gonna concentrate on shoulders and what I want to do is um, a lot of you send me messages, how do I build my shoulders? You know, you see my uh, routines, you see the little stuff that I put on Instagram and you know, you want a full complete program to build your shoulders. How do I get big delts like you? How do I get big traps like you, etc., etc. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna share with you five components to build your shoulders and that is one, you need a compound exercise to start. So I'm gonna go through all the compound exercises you can choose to really work on your shoulders. Once you've done your compound, you're gonna to wanna to hit your delts from all different angles. So we have the front delt, we have the medial delt, and we have the posterior delt at the back. What we're gonna do is we need an exercise for each of those. Start with a compound that's using all the muscles at the same time, big lift, and then we're gonna target the deltoids from all angles. So you're gonna choose one exercise from the compound category, you're gonna choose one exercise for your front delts, one exercise for your medial delt, and one exercise for your rear delt, and we're gonna finish off with traps. Very simple, That's, and what you're gonna do is you're gonna pull one exercise from each of these and build your own program. In terms of the rep range and the sets, I like to tell people to start at least with four sets. You know, I like a lot of volume. Me personally, I go up to six, sometimes even eight sets on an exercise. But I would say at least four sets, and with rep range, we're gonna do maybe eight to 12, you know, so that we get some, some high reps in, but then we also get some strength sets in. I would even go as low as six, you know, so, but ultimately, I'm gonna give you the exercises that you need to build your shoulders and build your own program. And the method and the order that you're supposed to do it is gonna be what I'm gonna show you. Ready? Let's go. Compound movements in general should be your bread and butter and be your first exercise when you start a session, be it for shoulders or any other muscle group. Starting with a compound exercise uses the largest muscle groups and requires the most energy to perform. Therefore, it's best to start with it when your energy levels are at their peak. Exercises like the overhead press, especially when standing, help with balance and truly fire up your core, lower back and a bunch of your stabilizer muscles. Once 
Once you've completed your compound movement, you're going to select an exercise to target those anterior delts. When performing front raises, how you grip the weight can make a big difference in how effective you make the movement. Using a neutral grip instead of a pronated grip eliminates any twist in motion of the wrist as you bring the weight up, which keeps your hands and forearms in a neutral position, which means less strain on the wrist and less chance of injury. Another great exercise for the front delts is the barbell front raise. Feel the muscle contract as you raise it up. Any movement that involves raising your arms up in front of you against the resistance, be it cables, dumbbells or a barbell, will effectively target the anterior deltoids. Be sure not to stand too far away from the cable machine, otherwise you risk a very uncomfortable situation with your crown jewels. Next, we need to target our medial deltoids with a lateral movement. Here you see me performing the dumbbell lateral raise, which is a staple and my favorite for targeting the mid deltoid. This machine from Gym 80 is awesome if you can get your hands on it. However, there are similar lateral raise machines you can find in many local gyms. Cable lateral raise isn't one of my favourites as it can be a little bit tricky, but it's a great way to unilaterally target the mid deltoid. Moving on to your rear deltoids, which are an often forgotten group of shoulder muscles, there are a bunch of great exercises to choose from. My personal favourite is Facebook. Engage your shoulder blades as much as possible in the motion and at the top of the movement, pause for a second before turning to the start position. Last but by no means least, we have to target those traps and there is nothing more effective than barbell shrugs, followed very closely by heavy dumbbell shrugs. And we are done. Guys, there's more information about how to put your program together in the description below. Um, let me know what videos you wanna see from me. I am ready to record, record, record. So just hit me up and let me know. Subscribe, tell your friends, I appreciate you. Peace out.